Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another BJ and Co Minecraft tutorial video. We are in Dungeons and Dragons and Spaceships. Space shuttles. I always say that wrong. I want to say spaceships. Spaceships are better than shuttles. Don't know what the difference is. Um, we're continuing on. We are knocking out more quests and showing you guys how to do them, the synergies, all that fun stuff so you can progress through this hopefully quickly. Uh, this is an expert pack so it does take a while to get to the spots where you can do all sorts of automation and the fun stuff so we want to help you cruise through that. Standing here, I'm looking up there. I see, I think it's a Hydra or something from Fire and Ice. God, I want to kill it but uh, it's kind of in that weird spot at the bottom of the slime islands. I don't know how it's going to go but that's for future adventures. Oh no, oh no. It's nighttime. Let's sleep before things get crazy. So what are we tackling today? Well, we are working on main quest line two uh, is kind of one of the big ones that we're working on as well as the smeltery pieces because I like tinkers all the time. So first things first, why don't we finish up what we had been working on last time? So mineral, we were working on the battery and we realized we needed two batteries. So let's get all the rest of the pieces that we need. And we should be able to wrap this guy up. No problemo. So, let's see if I can remember how this goes correctly. We need the tin at the top. We need that guy at the bottom. We need two crystallized mineral. We need the nine copper around the outside. And we need silicone. We need 2,000 millibuckets. So, two buckets worth. Empty cells. God, probably one of my favorite things about this one. And then I believe we need the driver, the hammer, and the pliers to get our second battery. Two batteries in place. That one is complete. Yeah. And this is the main one. Uh, we get some gold and some electrine, which is nice because we've been using the electrine to get the batteries. And surprise, surprise, you're likely going to need more batteries throughout the course of all this stuff. Um, so having the electrine will be good. Next, the next piece that we need, because like we said, you can see... I'll reiterate this. These ones with the fancy backgrounds, this is what continues on the quest line. All these square ones are just kind of sidebars that we can get to later. So we want to push this out because these two are tied in, so there's more to come. So circuit plates. What do we need with circuit plates? Well, circuit plates are not too hard to make. We need some stone or granite or polished granite or diorite or andersite or any of those good things. So I'm using a lot of granite, so I decided diorite is going to be the, the one to use right now. And we need 10 circuit plates. So all we should have to do is drop the 10 into here and smelt it away. And this should start us on our circuit plates. Yes, please, 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 please. Give me what I want. Give me what I want, what I really, really want. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, nice. And we only need, we actually only need five of them to get the 10 that we need, which is fantastic. So while that's working, next, let's talk about the one that I stopped on and herbs and flowers. Uh, we need Minecraft poppies, Minecraft dandelions to get this. Uh, we already have completed this. You need one of each. Go hunt around. Go see what you can find. It's relatively easy. What I like about this and it's great and it's kind of weird backwards where we're doing this in one and going back to two or going back to zero. But the herbs and flowers we get, we get mushrooms, bricks, and corned beef. Food's always good. The bricks is kind of the cool one here. So we're going to gain this. We're going to get the bricks. We're going to close out of here. And oh my God, we completed our brick quest, which is in main quest line zero right here for bricks. Um... We need clay normally to make them. Normally it's nine clay blicks, which is smelted clay. So normally it's 18 clay, but we got it completed. This gets us a bit more clay, which surprise, surprise, helps us towards our smeltery stuff without actually having to spend clay on bricks, which is kind of cool. So that's a nice one. The other one that we've hit um, just through some exploration on the Twitch stream last uh, few weeks ago. And by the way, if you guys want to see more of that, me grinding out the fun stuff in the Twitch stuff, let us know down in the comments below. It was fun to uh, chat with you guys while I was getting ready for the next episodes and even kind of record one live in the middle. So you can be live in the video with the text to speak, which is kind of fun. Um, we got some sandstone by digging up a desert pyramid. But if you need to make some sandstone in this one, all you need is eight sand and a bucket of water to get to. So not too crazy to make, but it is one we knocked out and we can get either sandstone or red sandstone or a loot bag. I personally think I'm going to go with the red sandstone in case I want to use that as a building block at some point. Gives me some stuff to play around. So we knocked a few more out of there and at this point we should be finished with the circuit plates. And notice how I used the wrong furnace. Ben, Ben, shame, shame. I'm going to hold my head down for the rest of the episode. <laughs> okay, so... 
now that we got the circuit plates in main quest line one, we can get more circuit plates, sandy glass, or coins. Um, I'm going to go with the circuit plates, and we're going to need lots of them. So the next piece that we're looking for is the transistor. Transistor radios. Um, so this one, we need circuit plates, we need gold, we need redstone, we need paper, and we need iron ingots. So paper, and this time we're using super glue. So four, we need four. We should have that, we should have that, we should have that, we should have that. It's just the paper that I'm unsure of if we have at the moment. Um, da, da, da. Let's do a quick search. Uh, I'm not seeing any paper. Are we seeing any sugar cane? There, we got some sugar cane. So, to make paper, we're just going to need two pieces of paper. We just need... Uh oh. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, sandstone slabs. Is there another easy way to do this? Compressor we don't have yet. Bonsai tree. Ooh, we can make a paper bark sapling. That might be, might be one that we grab at some point. Uh, compactor, centrifuge, um, okay, nothing we can get. So we need sandstone slabs, which means we need to cut some sandstone in half. So uh, I think we need to cut two of these in half at this rate. I like how I'm already using up the stuff that I was like, I need. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Oh, no, one's fine. One is fine, but we're knowing this pack, we're going to need more, more transistors. So we're going to get a... Hey! And funny enough, that completed this quest up here. Get four paper. It gives us more paper and glass. Beautiful. So it's kind of neat how you can see these things are all tying back and forth. And uh, like I've said in previous episodes, if you get stuck somewhere, just move on to somewhere different. Because likely what's going to happen is you're going to get exactly what you needed to get through the roadblock that you were in just by completing something different um okay what do we have here so uh this is the engineer's workbench i believe that we need for the transistor yeah sorry the engineer's workshop we need cutters okay so we're gonna need different tools but let's get things placed in uh, okay iron then gold iron iron gold gold circuit plates along the bottom redstone there uh, paper. That's the other thing that we needed. So this is the pieces that we need. We need to get the super glue in. Now you'll notice here we have less than a bucket, so we can't get this out with a um, fluid cell or any a bucket or anything like that. But if we shift left click, it completely empties it out. So then we can drop the bucket of super glue in there. And last but not least, what we need to get our hands on is just the proper transistor the proper selection of tools. So we need cutters, punch, driver. So cutters and punch we still need. And this is this is mandling or what did I say? Cutters and punch? Yes. Um, navigating the tools is almost one of the most challenging things, trying to make sure you've got what you need where with the right durabilities and all that jazz. But there we go. Four transistors in the bag. How did I get two iron swords? Well, those are getting combined to get me some more durability. <laughs> I wonder what that must have dropped on my explorations in the stream. Okay, transistors are done. Gets us some inferium and some iron ingots. I don't think those will splash all over the place. So now the next piece that we're looking on is the energy cell. And this allows us to start uh, storing some energy and it will upgrade at a later time gets us different pieces that we need for batteries and those different things so in here you can see we've got a few things we need iron plates tin plates we need the batteries we need silicones we need redstone we need two of the transistors we need block of crystallized mineral which is just nine pieces of uh crystallized mineral trunks which is something we're gonna have to get our hands on as well as we need these copper coils which is copper redstone and sticks together um i'm gonna need to collect some of the resources together it's spread out all over my base and i might have to go mining for a bit so we're not gonna go and complete that yet however i do want to get into here 
because smeltery, smelteries are so good. First things first, time to dump off some excess. God, I need to I need to sort out my storage really soon. Okay, we're gonna keep that. Uh, what else don't we need? We don't need that. We don't need that. We'll get those in storage right now. So, the smeltery stuff. There's two pieces to the smeltery stuff that we need. One is the one that we kind of looked at in the last episode, which was the pieces that to make grout, which is sand and gravel and um, sand and gravel and clay. Um, the amounts that we need them for is sig fairly significant. Why did it? That was weird. So I did some grinding off stream just to get my hands on this. Finding a nice riverbed usually works well. There was a swamp in front of me that was great. Um, went a bit underground to get some gravel. But you need 136 gravel, 136 sand, and 34 clay. Boom. We pick that up. Gives us more smeltery blocks, which is great because we're going to need them. And then the next thing that we need to make is grout. We need 204 grout. And grout is just made with sand, clay, and gravel together. So we are going to grab all of this stuff. And we are going to go and make some grout. I am grout. Do they? Use, yeah, they are. <laughs> they do use that in this one. So there we go there. So what we're going to do is we are just going to drop all the rest of the stuff into here. Why did it do that? I don't know. And, oh. Okay, this one's gonna go into there. That guy's gonna go into there and come off with there. Now we're gonna balance the grid. And what are we up to? Don't think, I mean, basically we gotta use most of this stuff up. So we'll see, let's jump out. That should be all of it, perfect. So we can take all the rest of the stuff back. So smeltery two is done and out of the way. We've got the 204 grout, and this gives us a bunch of stuff. Some food, some coins, some coal. Coal blocks are handy. Crap, I actually need, I, I wasted coal at this point now. Um, and then the next place, we need 204 seared bricks. And seared bricks are just this grout in a furnace. So we got lots of grout. Let's get it in the furnaces so it can smelt its way up. I am grout, hear me roar. Now it can work and we should be good there. So while that's all working its way up, the next piece in smeltery is starting to get us with better metal blends. Uh, and this is going to be with some pulverized tin, pulverized copper. Now there's a few ways we can get about go about doing this. The one that most people jump to immediately because it's on the first page is mortar and pestle with their ingot. Um, that gets you one, one for one trade. However, uh, if you're just smelting your stuff in the furnace and stuff, that's not great. What I suggest is go the squeezer route. Take those raw ores that you've got. Don't smelt them immediately. Break them down because this gives you a chance to basically for every one, you get 1.75 uh, because you get a guaranteed drop and a, a three and four chance of a second drop from it. So it's almost ore duplication. It's a great way to work through this. Uh, ooh, this stuff's still sitting back here. So we need, what did we say we need? Now I'm only, because we're close to the smeltery, we need six and 18. So I don't want to go too crazy in what we've got. And as soon as we get six, I want to move on to the next one because eventually we can guarantee doubling. So, okay, what do we got? One, ah, two. Let's see, am I gonna go three for three? Four, do it. Six, beautiful. That one is done. And now we need 18 of the copper ore. Let's hope we can get this in nine, but I doubt that's gonna happen. I'm not that lucky. Yeah, yeah, starts with one in the first one. Not gonna happen. Womp, womp, womp. We'll work our way up to this. Do a little dance or do a little jump. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Oh, new mention. What's mentioned? Did I actually stream? No, <laughs> that would be funny. People are here watching me. I can't see what's going on. I think I'm just recording, but I'm actually streaming. Been there, done that before. Ah, oh, so I hope everybody's enjoying this mod pack. Uh, if you are, let us know. What's what's everybody's favorite piece of this mod pack so far? I mean, I like. I like that it kind of guides you through the different machines and stuff, and doesn't just leave you freeform. Um, 
the grind is always interesting, but uh, I don't mind it. it. It lets me know where I'm going and get back into things. So, our pulverization's done. Mm. So here we can get loot bag, clay, bread. Um, I don't necessarily like the rolls on the loot bags, but I think that's what I want in this case because the other two are not too hard to get our hands on. So the next thing that we need, if we've done that one, we need to get bronze blend. And a bronze blend is a combination of, let me guess it, tin and copper. So we need four of the copper, two of the tin, put it all together, four of the copper, two of the tin. How much did we need? We do need 12, okay. There we go. So we got the 12 bronze blend. That's what we need there. Uh, we can get more bronze blend, which I definitely think is the most expensive thing in there, which is what we want. And then we're going to be working towards six bronze plates, which means we need bronze ingots. And of course, ingots is just by smelting these up. We don't have to worry about economies of scale or anything at this point. So uh, six, we're just going to get the 12 that we need in there. We're going to drop out a little bit more of this, a little bit of that. I don't think I have enough redstone because the next piece in this area is preparations for electrine. Oh, oh, Savvy's golfing. That's what's going on. I was wondering why I was getting announcements. Um, so I need to get my hands on some more sawdust to get ready for electrine, which is kind of interesting. And this is this is one that I don't. I did it in the wrong order. I waited for the flint and I did it in the wrong order. Because interestingly enough, we already did this piece and we could have completed this when we were getting the battery from tier zero. So, oops. I mean, it wasn't too hard to get, but I just always kick myself when it's like, I had the opportunity to get what I needed. Because it literally gives us the extra pulverized stuff that we need. You're going to need tons of electrine though. So it's, it's nothing to worry about in the least. So in here, it's asking for a few more things. I think I'm going to go with the silicon plates. That tends to be the the more labor intensive to get your hands on. Uh, we're gonna pick that guy up. Next, we have to make electrine. And we need the eight of it, which is gonna be simple and easy because we do have everything that we need now. Elec, if I can spell. We need three copper, three redstone, three sawdust to make eight of that. Boom, boom, boom. Knocked out. Knockout punch. There we go. And that we can choose a variety of things. And I think the ore here, because it should be able to get me six iron. Copper is a bit easier to find at higher levels, I find. So we're picking up the iron here. And next we need the electrine compound, which needs eight and an iron, which we definitely have already. I feel bad that I'm showing you guys this stuff twice. Boom, that's knocked out. But it feels good to get all these rewards, doesn't it? And speaking of all these rewards, let's uh, clear some space. Give me more space. Oh, yay. So this, again, what's more? Redstone. I think the actual electrine itself is more expensive. So we're going to pick that guy up. And now we need to make that alloy ingot. So we need to smelt you up. And grout still, still working for us. Bronze blend is complete now, though which means we can smash this down with a hammer into those six plates that we need. Boom, we got those on to the next step. Uh, get these guys out of my inventory while I'm thinking of it. Oh, we might have enough for the anvil too. Um, this is an interesting one. What do I want? I think I'm gonna go, I think this is gonna be more beneficial. As much as I like the different foods that I haven't eaten yet, we're gonna go with the electrine. Oh, no, I haven't completed that yet. Do, uh, this is the one we want, the bronze plates. Ooh, mana steel, gold, bronze. I think mana steel is going to be much harder for us to get our hands on as much as I like Batania. So electrine ingot, now we've got this. Now we can choose the another one that we need. And then we've got, are we, are we almost done here? What are we at, 19 minutes? Do we have enough yet? Do we have enough yet? I don't think we're quite there yet, guys. Did I dump some of them too? I don't think so. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Slow and steady. Why am I dumping all this stuff? 
Oh, I think I already have some mana steel in there. That's fine. Okay, so uh, we're looking for the grout. And after the grout, then we've got the inductive furnace. Now, this is one we need iron, electrine, and bricks. Oh, look, we have electrine. We have iron. Boom. Look at that. So hard to make. So hard to make. Let's get this guy out of the way before I screw up. And the bricks. And this gives us our inductive furnace. And now this guy, uh, it's basically a vanilla furnace, but it uses electrine power from Project Reds. Uh, this is something that we need to make in order to make the smeltery controller. So it's an important piece of the smeltery. And my camera, my camera, my camera. Sorry, that's, sorry I'm so fuzzy. That's okay. As Doogie said, it's probably a better look for me, right? Uh, again here, definitely grabbing the Electrine. Um, we need two iron to make that anyways. I feel like the Electrine itself is more expensive. So I'm going to pick that guy up. That's blocked. We're working on the smeltery stuff. Smeltery level three, we're almost there. Did I have anything else in here I want to work on? Uh, we could... Oh, we're still waiting. We're still waiting. This is going to finish today. We are going to tackle one more piece, which is right here. And this is going to be a weird one in tier one that uh, is called Dank Null. Inserting items into it will automatically store any further copies of the items when picked up and void any excess once the slot is full. So if you only want X amount of um, cobblestone or something when you're mining, it can just void the rest. This is not something I typically use because I'm a hoarder, but uh, what can I say? Higher tiers can hold more stacks. The one we're making has nine slots and can hold 128 items per slot, so two stacks per slot. Um, not too crazy. To make this, we are going to need five of these redstone panels, uh, which is five of these is four coal, four redstone, and the red stained glass. We need six red stained glass, so we need eight glass to, to make that. And for red, we need one of these guys, I believe, because that's the one piece that I hadn't gotten ready for this. There we go. So we're going to make the red glass first. Then we're going to make our panels. And then with the panels, we need, what was it, blocks of coal in the corners and redstone in the middle? Nope, every time I do this. I always rotate it by one position. There we go. Balance the grid, so we need one, two, three four five we're done with everything else in here one two three four five dank null is complete and this is the one that uh what does it say it's complete and i think it's if we shift right click it opens the inventory uh it's our inventory and it shows one two three four five six seven eight nine so this is uh something that we can utilize once we decide what's going in there i'll hold on to it for now and the other thing that we can get from it is the lapis dank nail panel or five blocks of coal because i don't use the dank nail, even though i'm kind of tempted i think i'm going to grab blocks of coal so that's complete and now we should oh fires fire stop burning fire stop burning there we go, smeltery number three in the bag. That's the last piece we were looking for today. I'm not going to make you guys sit through any more today. We're already kind of way past the uh, time frame that I like to get to. But we smelt this up. We got our seared bricks. This gets us some lava and some more coins. And I'm spewing stuff all over the place. As always. As always. I just can't contain myself, guys. Sorry, that was horrible. Well, I appreciate you guys all being here today. I hope you guys have learned something on this adventure. If you guys have been enjoying us, it let us know hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for updates when all the new content goes live if you uh, want to see more and want to hang out with us some more check out our discord the link is down in the description below and would have popped on the screen at some point if i've got my editing game on which of course it always is always right guys i never slip up on anything <laughs> um yeah, and uh, definitely if you want to see the live streams, if you want to get in on that, let us know and uh, check us out over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Co. We'd love to see you guys there. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye. I guess I should look at the camera when I do that.